your skin, Big Bandage. Well, hi guys, it is my face story here. Believe it or not, my skin has taken a turn kind of for the worst. Um, yeah, I'm not very happy with how it's looking. This is not good. It just keeps getting worse no matter what I do. So, you know, it looks really inflamed and irritated. I'm just trying to keep like simple skincare, simple diet, reintroduce like a lot of dark leafy greens. Um, and get me back on track to where I was. I'm obviously not happy with how it is right now. Yeah, it kind of sucks. <laughs> um, so I'm just stating the obvious and throwing it out there because it has not been this bad since I cut out dairy. I'm not really sure if it's something I ate or if it was something I put on my skin. Um, you guys know I test out like a lot of products for the blog and could have been something I tested out or it could have been something I ate, I'm really, really not sure, but it's just, it's not looking so hot right now. I'm hoping that, you know, it's only temporary and it'll clear up. Anyways, on a more positive note, because I do not know what caused this outbreak, one of the things I think it could have been was overindulging this holiday, eating so many carby food, having so many drinks and doing all those sorts of things. I honestly just thought that I was kind of like cured and I was like I'm just going to eat and drink whatever I want because it's not going to affect me and I'm Superman and my skin is fine now. Well lo and behold it was fine the whole break until now I'm about to start school again and it started freaking the heck out. Um, I didn't feel like I changed too much in my diet. I did add one supplement which I've since taken out because I heard that it could increase testosterone that could also be it. You know, it could be so many things. One of the things I definitely know, you know, that was different was I drank a lot this holiday. And that's kind of, you know, what I want to talk about today is how drinking can cause acne, how drinking can affect your skin negatively, and how drinking can also slightly help your skin in moderation, everything in moderation. I just, honestly, you guys right now, it's hard for me to even like talk to even like look at this because I just feel so like angry <laughs> that my skin is acting like this, that it's acting out. I mean, I guess it's a good thing that all the toxins are coming out of my body, but it just really, really sucks, you know? I've always assumed that alcohol affects your skin. I just didn't know why, you know? I figured you drink more, you get dehydrated, your skin's dry, maybe it makes you break out. It affects your liver, you know, which filters toxins. So then the toxins go through your skin and make you break out, which both are very true and both are very good points. I have six main ways that alcohol can affect acne and how it can affect your skin. Number one is that drinking regularly can destroy your immune system and your immune system basically keeps good guys, good bacteria and bad guys in check. And when your immune system is out of whack, you know, the bad guys can overtake and you can get sick easier. Um, the bad bacteria takes over easier and therefore, you know, the bad bacteria in your skin is able to take over easier as well. A weak immune system can result in like more clogged pores, more acne, you know, your, your whole body's defenses are down. So everything internally isn't working as well. So everything externally isn't going to look as well either. Number two is that frequently drinking can affect your hormone levels. A lot of people have acne because of testosterone or estrogen. A lot of it is hormonal or it can be cortisol. It can be so many different. It could be thyroid hormones. Drinking does affect your hormones and it can throw off the estrogen or the testosterone and lead in a surge of either one of those and that can definitely cause breakouts as well. Number three is that a lot of people, including me, use drinking sometimes. I'll admit it as a coping mechanism for stress. Um, obviously this isn't good. <laughs> there are other ways, better ways to deal with stress. I've been hitting up the gym a lot more, so you know, hopefully that will help with all this situation. Drinking affects your hormones, right? And also stress, cortisol affects your hormones. And when you're drinking on top of being stressed, it's not really a good stress reliever. And in the long run, you know, you're getting more dependent and you're getting more stressed out and it's going to end up causing skin issues in the long run because of both of those things. Stress is likely to affect your hormones and then the cortisol as well 
being spiked, both of those together are going to have a negative effect on your skin. Number four, what I was talking about before is your liver. Obviously your liver filters all the toxins. When you drink, you're taking like a hit on your liver. It's going to have to work overtime to filter all those toxins. And with time, you know, you're not gonna probably have the strongest liver. <laughs> Drinking alcohol definitely leads to liver damage. And if your body can't filter the toxins as well out of your system, they're gonna have to find a way out. You know, they're going to purge through your skin. They're gonna come out otherwise. So obviously weak liver could result in acne. Number five is that alcohol causes candida overgrowth and you've probably heard about this with thrush like in your mouth that you'll get it kind of looked like I had it for a second if you get like a white tongue but candida is a fungus that is found in like sugary drinks it's found in like wine beer things like that and so obviously drinking too much of that can result in outbreaks on the skin that look like acne, but they actually aren't, which is kind of confusing. Number six, this was like my main reason that I looked into all this, is that drinking alcohol causes dehydration. Obviously, if your skin's water barrier, your water content in your body, you're dehydrated, you're going to pull from other resources, and your body's water content is like critical for removing inflammatory and other toxic substances in your system. So obviously if it's not working as well, then yeah, you're probably gonna break out or experience some other weird effect of toxins releasing in your body and feel like crap. In addition to breaking out, alcohol obviously causes like extreme dehydration so your skin will look you know flaky red irritated and with time it'll age faster you'll have more wrinkles it'll have the effect of basically increasing the impurities in your system instead of decreasing and that's because the water content in your body how it filters the toxins and it filters the impurities that's decreasing the impurities if it's not able to do that obviously all the impurities are going to build up in your system in short Alcohol can affect your digestion, your immune system, your liver, and obviously your skin. I don't wanna say, you know, never completely, like don't drink alcohol at all. I guess if you don't want to, you don't have to. A lot of people enjoy like going to social gatherings or like drinking in that aspect or having a drink just like occasionally on like New Year's or something like that. You know, your choice, your body, whatever you wanna do. But if you do have a drink every now and then, I'm not talking about binge drinking or anything like that. If you just wanna have a drink every now and then, drinking in moderation can actually be beneficial for your health. I'm not talking sugary drinks or anything like that. I'm talking more like red wine specifically because it does have antioxidants in it and it is supposed to be great for your health. Beer, again, that's going to be sugary. It's going to maybe cause candida overgrowth. I guess if you can opt for some type of alcohol, clear liquor or red wine because they're pretty much pure and they're not going to have anything added to them. So again, everyone reacts differently. So having the occasional drink probably won't, you know, do this to your skin. Though I can't promise anything because this was only a couple of days of drinks and I didn't think that was too bad, but apparently my body hates me. So there's that. Obviously, regular alcohol consumption is going to lead to worse and bigger and badder breakouts. So try to limit your alcohol consumption or just don't drink if you don't want to, you don't have to. But yeah, those are the top six ways how alcohol affects your mind, body, and soul and causes acne because everything causes acne. So hopefully you learned something, hopefully it was a little bit interesting, and hopefully you think twice about that second drink next time. That's all I got. All right. <laughs> So if you guys have any questions, comments, make sure you like, subscribe, click the link down below the channel, right here. And that is all I got. All right. Also, if you have any experience with drinking in your skin flaring up, let me know because I would so greatly appreciate it. Yeah, so that's it. All right. Bye, guys. There's a hope